land of diabetes and we are ranked second in the world after China for being having the most number of population with diabetes. We have around 77 million of people affected by diabetes and one in every six in the world affected by diabetes would be an Indian. To monitor all these patients with diabetes who are on diabetic medications, the most common test prescribed and what they would be doing is the HbA1c test. Any diabetologist or any general physician treating diabetes, which is a very common practice in India and elsewhere in the developing nation, HbA1c will be tested for all these diabetic patients minimum two or three times annually. And we have the gold method of testing that is the HPLC method, which we also call as the high performance liquid chromatography and we have leaders in this there are certain machines which are leaders in doing this HPLC method of testing which is of course a costly affair and the machine itself costs around 10 to 15 lakhs in India. So what are the other methods of doing this HbA1c testing? We have around 3 to 4 methods of doing this HbA1c testing. We have the immunoturbidometric method, we have the HPLC method, also we have the enzyme activity method to see the HbA1c levels in your blood. HPLC can be again of two methods. One is the ion exchange and the other one is the borate affinity HPLC method. These are the gold standards for testing the HbA1c. So apart from this, in a developing nation like India, we can also use the immunoturbidometric. That is, we can run the HbA1c also in the biochemistry machine. So how reliable it is. Recent days, there are a lot of research papers which have been published, which I'm also giving in the reference below to prove that even the immunoturbidometric method can be a very cost effective, reliable method of testing the HbA1c. Immunoturbidometric reagents which you run in your biochemistry analyzer can be at par with the HPLC method of testing the HbA1c. Why you are doing the HbA1c in a biochemistry analyzer through the immunoturbidometric reagents? Three things have to be taken care of. One is the standard of the reagent has to be very good. Second thing, the calibration of the reagents Third thing, the quality control of both the machine and the reagent. When these parameters are taken care of and are properly regularized in your diagnostic center, of course, getting the value of an HbA1c through the immunoturbidometric will be at par with the HPLC method. This is not my suggestion or this is not my practice. This is what is proven in the recent days through many countries and many people of them have published and I'm quoting these for your reference. There is a condition called as a wild HbA1c where they have, the patients will have a acute rise there is a sudden rise in the glucose levels of the patients which will not be detected in a HPLC method and it will give you a false increased value of HbA1c whereas this is not taken into account when you're doing in an immunoturbidometric method that is running the HbA1c in a biochemistry analyzer and this H labile HbA1c will not be detected and you get approximately accurate values in a biochemistry analyzer. Through this, what I want to give information to all my viewers and the customers is that in a developing nation like India, African continents, the method of HbA1c can also be relied when you do it in an immunoturbidometric method which is cost effective, which is reliable and also time efficient. If you have any doubts or if you want to say anything, you can contact us through pathlabstartup at gmail.com or WhatsApp number is 9940027564. See you with another topic. Signing off, Dr. Lalita Sender.